In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, this book is explaining how hell is terrible. Sometimes we say hell is doesn't exist. This is exaggeration. But now we are reading and know that this is not exaggeration, this is the truth. Jesus has revealed everything so that we can repent when it is still time. Brothers and sisters, we have to know judgment has been set. God has spoken. He sent preachers. He sent many pastors all mistering the gospel, but we didn't want to listen to what they say. Brothers and sisters, we also have the advantages of the modern communication system and also many other ways to learn about Jesus. We neglect, and most of the time we are busy with our work. We want to gain, hmm? gain money, to have peace of mind, and that peace will, we, we, which will be especially based on our wealth or our properties. People are killing each other because of properties, and they forget, even though our ancestors left them, we also we leave them, means they are not ours. They can be ours in a short time, but in a very long time, ours is only the soul which will go to God. Brothers and sisters, pay attention to what we do. And I call you to be on your guard because Jesus will come back to judge everyone according to his action. May God bless you. Amo Marie Louise Omarongo. We just continue with the story of that woman who were crying to Jesus so that he can help her to go out of the hell. In the next pit was the woman on her knees as if looking for something. Her skeleton, skeletal form also was full of holes. Her bones were showing through, and her torn dress was on fire. Her head was bowed, and there were only holes where her eyes and the nose were supposed to be, and her nose were supposed to be. 
A small fire was burning around her feet where she was kneeling, and she clawed the side of the brimstone pit. The fire clung the, uh, to her to her hand, and the dead fresh kept kept fearing of a of as she dug. Rembrandt's sobs shook her. Oh Lord, oh Lord, she cried. I want out. As we watched, she finally got to the top of the pit with her feet. I thought she was going to get out for to get out when a large demon with great wings that seemed to be broken at the top and hung down his side ran to her. His color, color was a brown shing, brown shing black and he her head hair all over his large form. His eyes were set far back into his head and he was about the size of a large grizzly bear. The demon rushed up to the woman and pushed her very hard backward into the pit and fire. I watched in the harrow, in the harrow as she fell. I felt so sorry for her. I wanted to take her into my arms and hold her to ask God to heal her and take her out of there. Jesus knew my thoughts and said, My child, judgment has, has been set. God has spoken. Even when she was a child, I called and called her to repent and to serve me. When she was 16 years old, I came to her and said, I love you. Give your life to me and came follow me, for I have called you for a special purpose. I called all her life, but she would not listen. She said, some days, some day, I will serve you. I have no time for you now. I have no time for you now. No time, no time. I have my life of fun. No time, no time to serve you, Jesus. Tomorrow I will. Tomorrow never came, for she waited too long. The woman cried out to Jesus, My soul is truly in torment. There is no way out. I looked at that. I wanted to, I wanted the world instead of you, Lord. I wanted the riches, fame, and fortune, and I got it. I could buy anything I wanted. I was my own boss. I was the priest, the priest, prettiest, best dressed woman of my time. And I had the leeches, fame and fortune, but I found I could not take them with me in death. Oh Lord, here is horrible. I have no rest day or night. I'm always in pain and torment. Help me, Lord, she cried. The woman looked up at Jesus so longingly and said, My sweet Lord, if only I had listened to you, I will regret that forever. I planned to serve you someday when I got ready. I thought you would always be there for me, but how wrong I was. I was one of the most sought-after women 
of my time for my beauty. I knew God was calling me to repent. All my life he drew me with the cords of love and I thought I could use God like I use everyone else. He would always be there. Oh yes, I used God. He would try to, so hard to get me to serve him. While all the time I thought I didn't need him. Oh, how wrong I was. For Satan began to use me and I began to serve Satan more and more. At the last, I, did, I loved him more than God. I loved to sin and he would not turn to God. Satan used my beauty and my money and all my thoughts turned to how much power he would give for me. Even then, God continued to draw me but I thought I have tomorrow or the next day. Then one day while reading in a car, my driver ran into a, ho a house and I was killed. Lord, please let me out. As she spoke, her, bone, her bony hands and arms reached out to, to Jesus while the flame continued to burn, to burn her, Jesus said, the, ju the judgment is set. Tears fell down his cheek, cheek, cheeks as we moved to the next pit. I was crying inside, inside about the horrors of hell. Dear Lord, I cried, the torment is too real. When a soul comes here, there is no hope, no life, no love. Here is to real. No way out. I thought she must burn forever in the desert flames. Time is running out, Jesus said. We will come back tomorrow. Friends, if you are living in sin, please repent. Brothers and sisters, let us breathe a bit so that we come to the conclusion. I don't want you to go to the conclusion before you meditate about what we are reading.
friend, if you are living in a sin, please repent. If you have been born again and have turned your back on God, repent and turn back to Him now. Live good and stand for truth. Wake up before it is too late and you can spend forever with the Lord in heaven. Jesus, Jesus spoke again. He has a body like a human form laying on her back in the center of the earth. Hell is shaped like a human body, very large and with many chambers of torment. Remember to tell the people of earth that hell is real. Millions of lost souls are here and more are coming every day. On the great judgment day, Death and hair will be cast into the last, into the lake of fire. That will be the second death. Brothers and sisters, repent. This person, the way she was living, you can imagine and put in our time and see that that how we will live. We don't want to serve God. We just to want to satisfy our bodies. We use the very expensive lotions. We don't want to help poor people, yet they are around us. We don't want to do good because we say we have our wealth. But this person can be an example and wake us up now for the kingdom of heaven brothers and sisters there is no pity no love no hope when you are in hell may god bless us and open our eyes so that we can work for our best with all of, of our strength work for the kingdom of heaven may god bless us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.